All right, we turn now to breaking news. Last night, Channel 3 Eyewitness News reported on an officer-involved shooting that took place in Manchester. And this morning, we have some new information on what exactly took place. Channel 3's Elliot Polakoff joins us now live from the scene in Manchester. What is this new information, Elliot? Yeah, Nicole, we are outside the suspect's mother's house here at 181 Oak Street in Manchester, where the scene is still considered to be active after last night's officer involved shooting. You can see behind me that the street is blocked off here. What we now know is that the male suspect allegedly broke his parole, which ultimately led to him being shot and killed by four officers. At 7.30 p.m. last night, the Department of Corrections, or DOC, Fugitive Parole Unit went to the suspect's home with an active warrant for his arrest. When they arrived and tried to serve the warrant, the suspect began to yell several times inside and said he would begin shooting if the officers tried to take him in. That's when the DOC unit called Manchester Police for backup and Crest, or the Capital Region Emergency Response Team, was called in as a precaution. Once they arrived, all four officers started to negotiate with the suspect, who was barricaded inside but eventually agreed to come out. That's when the officer-involved shooting occurred. Police still don't have details regarding the cause of the shooting. It is unknown, as to my knowledge, as to where the suspect was shot, exactly where he was when the shooting occurred, but medical aid was rendered and he was transported to Hartford Hospital where he succumbed to his wounds and is deceased at this time. Police still don't actually reveal the name of the suspect at this time, and the investigation has now been handed over to the Chief State's Attorney and the Western District Major Crimes Unit. And as for the suspect's family, they were evacuated while the confrontation was going on, so it was only the suspect that was left when the shots began to happen. We'll continue to update this officer-involved shooting and update you with more information as we learn it. But for now, live in Manchester, Elliot Polikoff, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.